The tsconfig.json file is a massive file that terrifies everybody that uses it. It's an artifact of how big TypeScript has become and how resistant they are to make breaking changes, and really how often or how little they change the defaults in this file. Here I'm going to show you a cheat sheet and how you can get the most out of tsconfig.json with the minimal amount of decisions on your part. I'm going to whip through a bunch of these uh, options and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to be setting for each thing you might ever need. There's a set of base options here. Let's whip through these. ES module interop kind of like smooths out some of the interop between ESM and CJS. Always set it to true. Skip lib checks skips type checking on declaration files, which you might sound, God, that sounds awful. Why would I want to do that? Well, it means that node modules won't be checked. So code that you don't control won't error in your code base. You should change your target to whatever you like, but ES2022 is a good choice because I think most browsers will support the language features in here. Verbatim module syntax will ensure that you're using the right CJS or ESM like uh, syntax inside your modules. AllowJS allows you to import JS files, which is sometimes useful. Resolve JSON module does the same thing for JSON files. And module detection force is useful because it means that every file in your uh, repo will be treated as a module instead of like a global script. So this is really useful if you kind of basically every modern front end project and back end project is going to use modules, not global scripts. So you want to use this. For strictness, you want strict to true. There's no other, like, there's no way around this. All modern, like, functional projects need to have strict true because libraries that use TypeScript will basically assume that you have strict true. And strict true, like, this I think is the max level of strictness that I want. I don't want like, no unused locals, no unused parameters. I think that stuff just gets in the way. No unchecked indexed access. Well, this is like an extra little level of strictness that does some strictness stuff on like records and arrays to make sure that you're not doing kind of unsafe indexing. Really useful. Now, now we get to the first decision point. All of this stuff up here, these base options and strictness are stuff you should do all of the time. But here's the first decision point. Are you transpiling your code with TypeScript? Are you running TSC to turn your TypeScript files into JS files? If you are, you should choose these four options. Module resolution node next, module node next, outdir dist, and source map true. Module resolution node next, this is the key one. This will ensure that the code that you produce can be consumed by node. So this means that this is the only situation where you need to use module resolution node next. If you don't do that, if you, for instance, there's so many more situations where you want the second one. If you're using Dino, if you're using Bun, if you're running your code with like TSX, if you're transpiling it with ES Build, if you're in a modern front end framework like Next or Remix or Svelte or anything really, then you are going to want to choose Module Resolution Bundler, Module ES Next, and No Emit True. No Emit True prevents you when you type check your code. It means that no JS files will be produced. This is massively important. And Out Dear Distant Source Map True, this is when you are emitting code that decides where the code will go into an out deer. You pretty much always want to use an out deer unless you're doing something weird like transpiling it. Like, so like, by default, it will go next to the TypeScript files, which is really nasty, I think. So an out deer is always good. And source map indicates that source maps will be created, which again is really useful when you're doing go to definition. So that's, I think, the most important decision in here. Are you transpiling with TypeScript or are you not transpiling with TypeScript? Most of the time, I think probably... 80, 90% of all the viewers, all the people who see this, you're going to be choosing this one, Module Resolution Bundler. Now, if your code runs in the DOM, you're going to want to set lib to ES2022 DOM and DOM.iterable. This means that basically you're going to get the DOM typings like document and window into your project when you use it. If it doesn't run in the DOM, then you can actually just specify lib ES2022. This means that you won't get document and window inside of all of your typings, which is really good because you don't want that available to you if you're running like a node application. If you're bundling for a library, then you should use declaration true. And again, this is only true if you're transpiling with TypeScript. And if you're bundling for a library in a monorepo, you want composite true, because that means that if you run like TypeScript on a build in a big monorepo, it's only going to rebuild the stuff that's recently changed. So it does some caching there, which is really nice. And otherwise, you're going to set declaration map true. Declaration map true means if you're in a monorepo and you go do a find 
definition or go to definition on like a function that you've generated declarations for, then you will go to the source file and not the declaration file. A lot of people get really annoyed. They think, oh God, why is it taking me to the declaration file? That's so annoying. I just want to go to the source file. Well, you need to set declaration map true in the place where you're transpiling your TypeScript. Now, there's a few other options that I haven't considered here, like, you know, JSX, if you're building like a React app or something like that. But really, this is going to get you 80, 90% of the way there in terms of building out a tsconfig.json for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I'm actually having a sale on my React Advanced TypeScript course, which is on totaltypescript.com now. And otherwise, I will see you very soon.